friends, Chef Renena here. Today I'm sharing a lamp rack dish which is perfect for when you're looking to treat yourself at home or just entertaining friends or family. So to start the dish, I'm going to start by searing these chops. I've cut them into double chops, removed some of the excess fat and then salted them and peppered. So all I need to do here is just to sear this. So by the way, uh, the fat that's in the pan, I rendered some of the excess fat that I removed from the chops. Looking for that beautiful golden brown color. And then we'll finish this in a 425 degrees oven. Here the side also. This is a dish that you can do as a whole rack too and then cut into chops when it's done. Some sprigs of thyme and rosemary, some garlic, some ginger. I'm at the same time going to add a small handful of garam masala spices. I'm going to share the ingredients in the description box. Give this a quick turn. Into the pan I'm adding a tablespoonful of ghee. You can use butter and then let all the perfume this chop. I will transfer these chops into this baking pan and then finish them in the oven at 425 for about 10 minutes all until they reach a medium doneness. Some of this goodness goes in there. Sprinkle right on top. So into this hot pan I have a carrot. I have a small red onion that I quartered. I'm going to lay it at the bottom of the pan and sear it. I have a small head of cauliflower. Everything goes into this pan that is already so perfumed with the ghee and the rendered fat from the chop. Season some salt and some pepper. Sprinkle in some red pepper flakes. This is optional. Put a lid on this and let them steam and cook slowly. In the meanwhile, I'm going to pull out the lamb chops and then give them time to rest. Our veggies have been steaming here and searing at the same time. So all I need to do is just take a knife and fork the cauliflower. It's perfectly done. The onion, check the carrots also, and they are good. So now I can give everything a hand, just so carefully. Looks so good. You can substitute the cauliflower for potatoes. So now add a heaping of spinach. You can use kale also, works very well, especially. A handful of parsley and cilantro. Just wilt the spinach and you're done. Turn off the heat, just fold in the baby spinach and you have that beautiful looking vegetable. Very springy. It's your first time on this channel, please remember to subscribe. I share tips and ideas on how to be better cooks in our own kitchens. This is one of those dishes that is so perfect served individually or plated. Just put some masala sauce at the bottom of the plate. 
just like so. Get some of these beautiful vegetables. Just cut them at the bottom. Sometimes it's good to have your guests enjoy your cooking. Just, you know, pull up some of your skills and let them enjoy. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to. Ah, uh, maybe one more carrot. Two chops per person for this dish is perfect. Just like so. And drizzle some of this ghee just around the plate. And you have yourself a restaurant style dish right in your kitchen. Just to complete it, some cleaning. Parsley cilantro, put it on the table. This is definitely also a good time to pull your fork and a knife and you dig into it. Cut it, that's a perfect medium cook right there. Get some of these masala sauce. Hmm, that's so delicious. So friends, there you have it. If you're looking to treat yourself at home, entertain friends or family, I get you the right dish. Give it a try one of these days when you are looking to do that and I'm sure you'll enjoy it as well as your guests. So thank you so much for watching this one. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Just remember please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and down below and give me a like. See you soon.